Hello artists, in this art lesson I will be teaching you how to paint a fun Halloween pumpkin. To do this, I am working on watercolor paper, so a thicker watercolor paper works best, or illustration board is a nice alternative. I am first drawing out my scene with a pencil. I'm going over it with an ultra fine tip sharpie and then erasing my lines with a good eraser. I'm using two watercolor paints in a palette like this. Uh, a better quality paint will definitely get better results in your painting. And then I am using the Royal Grip Soft brushes and some, uh, also some NASCO brushes as well. And have paper towel, a cup for water, and a hair dryer to dry paints in between layers. I'm also working on a little bit of uh, paper on my table so I get too much paint on that. This is an awesome Halloween art lesson. Have fun. The first step in our jack lantern is, is to take a pencil and I'm going to draw kind of a circle or oval shape for the outline of my jack o' lantern. And then I'm going to kind of indicate the brim of the hat and then it's going to come up into a triangle shape. And maybe I'm going to have that kind of curve around and back down to make the brim of the hat on it. Okay, I'm going to indicate maybe some lines on that brim of the hat. I'm going to come through, make sure I have my edge defined. I'm going to draw a shape for the mouth. Maybe I'll have a two third two on there, kind of a triangle shape for the eyes and the nose. Notice I didn't make them perfect triangles. I gave them a little bit of curve to the edges to make them a little more interesting. Maybe I'll have a few lines that kind of curve to indicate the curve of the jack-o'-lantern. Next, I'd like to come back with an ultra fine tip Sharpie. This is a much more detailed line than a regular Sharpie. It will make a nice little um, indication of an outline to help your paints really pop out when you finish painting. All right, I'm gonna erase all my lines off of my pumpkin, and then I'm gonna come back with a dark purple, and this is going to be the first layer of the hat. So eventually my hat is going to get painted black, but I felt like I needed a little more color to give it more dimension and a little more interest than just black. So I'm gonna come through and paint it all black, maybe even a little bit of blue in there as well. Next, I wanna create the first layer of color to my jack-o'-lantern. So I'm going to do a little bit of yellow and orange to get a light color, and I'm gonna come through and paint a light wash of this yellowish orange across my jack-o'-lantern. I might leave some areas um, even white to kind of have like a little bit of a highlight or reflection of light coming off of it. So I'm gonna keep most of my light colors in the middle of it and then paint the edges darker to give it more of that um, 3D look to it. Next, I'm gonna dry my layers. It's really important that you make sure you dry everything before you're building up the darker colors. So I'm gonna come up with a darker black and I'm going to paint in my eyes, um, kind of a dark color like this, like a black. Again, you get maybe a little bit of purple in there, or blue too, to give a little more dimension and color, but um, a dark color in the middle of this will make your oranges really pop out more. Next, I'm going to come back with my black and I'm going to add it to my hat. Now, I'm not going to paint the whole hat black. I really want to kind of get the edges more of the black color. So I'm going to come through and paint all the edges of it and leave more of the purple and that little bit of blue in the middle so the hat kind of gets a, a little bit of a 3D dimension to it.
Now just like the hat, I'm going to only add the darker orange to the outside edges, maybe to the bottom of my jack-o'-lantern. Um, I'm also going to have add some darker orange underneath the hat to kind of make it look like the hat's sitting on it to have it like a little bit of a shadow there. So I'm going to leave the lighter orange and the lighter yellow towards the middle of it to make my jack-o'-lantern kind of have more of a 3D look to it. I'm going to build up my darker oranges all the way around my jack-o'-lantern. I feel like I needed a darker orange, so what I did is I took my orange and I mixed it with brown to get kind of a darker color to indicate a little more of a dimension around it. And then I felt like the hat needed to be a darker yet, so I'm coming back more with a darker black, like more of a pure black, without so much water to it to kind of really build up that blackness um, in the parts that needed it on the hat and even into the eyes, nose, and mouth. In the last steps, I'm going to sign my name on my painting and then I take a brush and I'm going to add some water to it after I make sure all my layers are dry. Because if I do a little bit of splattering, I want to make sure everything is dry before I do it. So I add purple and I'm going to do black and I'm going to do orange in the background. And I do that by just splattering it by tapping it, tapping the brush on my finger to get those little splatter marks. I don't want to get too much on my actual jack-o'-lantern. And here's my finished jack-o'-lantern painting. Hey, thanks for joining us on Kid Art Nation. If you enjoyed our videos, it would mean a lot if you liked the videos and subscribed to our channel. Remember, you are important, you are amazing, you are an artist.